Thank you for tuning in to the final block break conversation of the academic year. Robert and I have enjoyed connecting with you each month to engage with campus partners and share college updates. For our final conversation of the 2021 academic year, we're excited to have President-elect Song Richardson joining us today. Dean Richardson is currently employed as the Dean and Chancellor's Professor of Law at the University of California, Irvine School of Law. She is a legal scholar, educator, lawyer, and expert on implicit racial and gender bias. She received her Bachelor of Arts from Harvard University and her Juris Doctor from Yale Law School. And she's been published in numerous law journals, including Harvard, Yale, University of California, Berkeley, Cornell University, Duke University, and Northwestern University. She just recently relocated to Colorado Springs, and Mike and I are excited that she will assume the presidency in just a few short weeks on July 1st. President-elect Richardson, thank you for joining us today so that the Colorado College community can get to know a bit more about you. Thank you so much, uh, Mike and Robert, for inviting me to participate in this conversation. I'm really thrilled and excited to be here. President Richardson, we are all looking forward to you being on campus July 1, but we would love for you to share some of your thoughts of what drew you to Colorado College. What made you interested in this place and in this position? So I'll start out by saying something that might, I know it won't surprise you both, but it might surprise uh, other people. At first, I wasn't at all interested in Colorado College. When they first reached out to me, I, I, I wasn't at all interested because frankly, I didn't know what a remarkable community you had here. And I was so very happy at the University of California, Irvine School of Law. It's where I wanted to be. And then I started reading and learning about CC. And what I learned about your community, about your commitments, about your values, about the way that you uh, highlight and really prioritize students, all of those things spoke to my own values, spoke to the reasons why I loved UCI Law so much. And the fit to me was so perfect in terms of what you care about and what my own values are. And that's what made me incredibly excited about being a member of this remarkable community. So Dean Richardson, you come to us after having served at law schools in large universities. And we're curious to learn about what you see as the similarities between those institutions and Colorado College and the differences between them and us as a liberal arts institution. So one of the things that I loved about being at a university is the intellectual engagement um, that we were able to have at being at such a large place. Um, but the law school as part of a broader university was actually a much smaller place. And we and it reminded me a lot, actually, the law school of a small liberal arts college in that as the dean, which is very similar to being the president, um, I was able to work with a remarkable group of leaders to to push forward the advances that we thought were important to higher education. And so in that way, in the way that we were student centered, in the way that we cared about diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, in the way that we cared about our broader communities and engaging with them, and the close relationship that we had with our alumni, in all of those ways, it is such um, a match between what I did as Dean at a law school and uh, as president of CC, the one benefit there are multiple benefits. I'll mention two, actually. One is the lack of red tape that exists at a small private liberal arts college <laughs> compared to the behemoth of the University of California system. And then second 
in this past year as a dean at a law school, I've been thinking to myself how incredible it would be to start with students early, much earlier than we do at a law school. And then the next thing I know, this opportunity to be at CC came across my desk. And, and so that's why, once again, I'm, I'm thrilled <laughs> to, to be here and to not have the red tape. The opportunity to engage and get to know students is something that really makes this place special. It's why our faculty and staff love spending their professional careers here. In a few weeks, we'll host two commencements <laughs> and we'll have an opportunity to give sage advice to our graduates. What advice would you give our graduates as they leave CC and enter the larger world? Oh, wow, that is a great question. Um, so first, I, I do want to congratulate the, the two, two commencements. That's incredible. So I want to congratulate the, the classes of uh, 2020 and the class of 2021. Um, and then in terms of the advice, I just had this past weekend, the graduation at UCI Law. And the advice that I gave to the to the graduates is to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, to be comfortable with taking risks and failing as they uh, seek their own path in life and to remember what it is that drives them. Right. What are your values? What are your beliefs? What is it? What is the path that you want to take as a graduate of CC? And that path can change, but this is your path. And so finding your path can sometimes lead to making mistakes, to experiencing failure, to being resilient, because all of you have been so resilient over the course of these this past year, especially. And the fact that you made it through and that you are now graduating should tell you something about your capacity to get through anything. So be willing to take chances, be willing to fail and learn from those failures. And please spend some time thinking about what your path is, not what someone else's path is, but what your path is throughout the course of your life. So those are the three pieces of advice I would give. President-elect Richardson, I'm gonna to pose to you a question that I got randomly from a 2020 graduate, Aiden Longhorse, reached out to me about a month ago and he said, Dean Edmonds, what's your must read list? Both fiction and nonfiction. So uh, I have to ask you the same question Aiden asked me. What's your must read list, fiction and nonfiction? That is such a difficult question for me <laughs> because there are so many books that, and it depends on the period of time. So I think what on my must read list for uh, today, especially given the commitments that, that CC has and with your incredible anti-racism initiative, for instance, on my must read list would be a book called The Conversation. Um, and it is a book that talks about how it is that we, as a community of people coming from different backgrounds and different belief systems and different experiences, how can we come together to have a conversation about the things that matter in the world today. And especially at a liberal arts college, this is a book that I would recommend to anyone because this is the skill that we at CC have taught you, right? That is the value of a liberal arts education. So I would say this book called The Conversation is one that I have recently read um, that I think is truly impactful no matter what it is that you, you wanna do. So that's a nonfiction book. And then you said fiction book? Yes, yes. So fiction, um, I am a science fiction and mystery person. I love science fiction and mysteries. And so there is a series of books 
written by a woman named Louise Penny. And it's a Inspector Gamache series. So it takes place at a town called Three Pines in a fake village in Canada. And it is beautifully written. And if you love mysteries, Inspector Gamache, the Inspector Gamache series by, by Louise Penny. And the final thing I'll say about that is that town, I've always wanted to live in that fictional town that she writes about. And Colorado Springs reminds me of it. Wow. So <laughs> I'm even <laughs> happier to be here. <laughs> so, well, so Dean Richardson, you've graciously attended over 20 different meet and greets with members of this community. And many people want to know, when did you get to Colorado Springs? Have you had any free time since you got here? And what are you hoping to do with any free time you might have? <laughs> so first, I will say my introduction to uh, Colorado Springs and CC driving from Orange County to here was quite the adventure. I don't want to repeat that. And I kept thinking to myself, is this a sign because of everything that went wrong that I shouldn't be here? And then everything turned around when I got close to CC and CC and the remarkable community here made it all great. So that's the first thing I'll say. It's like the transition here, the end part of it was fantastic because of the remarkable group at CC. Um, and then what have I been doing besides unpacking? <laughs> uh, and, and what do I want to do? Um, I want to figure out the town, the food, the restaurants. I love eating good food. We just found an incredible taco place this weekend. So I will do, be doing a lot of eating and then hiking and exploring the outside. That is something else that, that I love to do, that my husband loves to do. Um, and we'll be getting in shape to at some point climb the incline, which I have heard about. But first I have to get accustomed to the altitude. <laughs> President-elect Richardson, Robert and I just wanna let you know, you made a great choice. This is a beautiful place. It's not just beautiful because of its physical beauty, but we have caring, compassionate, dedicated, engaged students, faculty, and staff who are committed to leaving the college better after their time here. Thank you so much for joining Robert and I this afternoon. But more importantly, Thank you so much for joining Colorado College. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mike and Robert. It's been a pleasure uh, working with both of you and getting to know the remarkable community here at CC. And I'm so looking forward uh, to July 1 and working even more closely with the entire community. I, I feel so special uh, being able to be here. So thank you. Robert and I are looking forward to July <laughs> as well. Thank you again for being with us. Thanks. Thanks.